From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Our eyes are so precious. We see everything around us through them. Today we will get to know about an eye disease. Age-related macular degeneration, AMD. AMD is a deterioration or breakdown of the eye's macula. The macula is a small area in the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The macula is a part of the retina that is responsible for your central vision, allowing you to see fine detail clearly. Symptoms Dry macular degeneration symptoms usually develop gradually and without pain. They may include Visual distortions like straight lines, seeming bent, reduced central vision in one or both eyes, the need for brighter light when reading or doing close work, increased difficulty adapting to low light levels such as when entering a dimly lit restaurant, increased blurriness of printed words, decreased intensity or brightness of color, difficulty recognizing faces, you lose visual sharpness in contrast sensitivity, images, writing or faces can become distorted in the Center. Dry macular degeneration can progress to wet macular degeneration. Dry AMD. You may have dry AMD if you need brighter light than normal when reading, text appears blurry, colors appear less vibrant, you have difficulty recognizing people's faces, your vision seem hazy or less well defined. Wet AMD. In most cases, wet AMD develops in people who already have dry AMD. If you have wet AMD, any blurring in your central vision will suddenly worsen. You you may also experience other symptoms such as visual distortions, blind spots, hallucinations. Risk factors It's unclear what triggers the processes that lead to AMD, but a number of things increase your risk of developing it. They include age. Most cases start developing in people aged 50 or over and rise sharply with age. It's estimated one in every 10 people over 65 has some signs of AMD. Family history. AMD has been known to run in families. If your parents, brother or sister develop AMD, it's thought that your risk of developing the condition is increased. Smoking. A person who smokes is up to four times more likely to develop AMD than someone who's never smoked. Ethnicity. Studies have found rates of AMD are highest in white and Chinese people and lower in black people. Gender Women get AMD more commonly than men. Other possible risk factors include alcohol, sunlight, obesity, high blood pressure and heart disease. Diagnosis Your doctor may diagnose your condition by reviewing your medical and family history and conducting a complete eye exam. Doctor may also do several other tests including examination of the back of your eye to look for mottled appearance caused by drusen, yellow deposits that form under the retina. People with macular degeneration often have many drusen. Fluorescent angiography during this test, your doctor injects a colored dye into a vein in your arm that travels to and highlights the blood vessels in your eye. A special camera takes several pictures as the dye travels through the blood vessels. The images will show if you have abnormal blood vessel or retinal changes. Indocyanin green angiography Like fluorescein angiography, this test uses an injected dye. It may be used to confirm the findings of a fluorescein angiography. Optical coherence tomography OCT. OCT uses a special rays of light to scan your retina and produce an image of it. This can provide detailed information about your macula. For example, it will tell your ophthalmologist whether your macula is thickened or abnormal and whether any fluid has leaked into the retina. Fundus photography. A fundus camera is a special camera used to take photographs of the inside of your eye. It can capture three-dimensional images of your macula. Your ophthalmologist can then look at the different layers of your retina for damage. Treatment of macular degeneration. There is currently no cure for either type of age-related macular degeneration AMD, although vision aids and treatments may help. Dry AMD. With dry AMD, the deterioration of vision can be very slow. Staff at the clinic can provide useful advice and practical support to help minimize the effect 
dry AMD has on your life. For example, you may wish to try magnifying lenses, large print books, very bright reading lights, screen reading software on your computer so you can read emails and documents and browse the internet. Diet and nutrition. Talk to an ophthalmologist about whether food help against dry AMD. Food rich in vitamin A, C, E and leucine and zeaxanthin are good for your eyes. They include oranges, kiwis, leafy green vegetables, tomatoes and carrots. Wet AMD. The two main treatment options for wet AMD, anti-VEGF medication that prevent the growth of new blood vessels in the eye, and laser surgery to destroy abnormal blood vessels in the eye. Anti-VEGF medication. VEGF stands for vascular endothelial growth factor. The medication is injected into your eye using a very fine needle. You'll be given local anesthetic eye drops so the procedure don't hurt. The anti-VEGF medications such as ranibizumab and aflibercept will be prescribed by doctor if there's clear evidence that they will help improve or maintain your eyesight. Otherwise, ranibizumab and aflibercept should not be used. Ranibizumab brand name Lucentis. Studies show ranibizumab can help slow loss of visual acuity in more than 90% of people. Its common side effects include minor bleeding in the eye, feeling like there's something in the eye, irritation of the eye, increased pressure within the eye. Aflibercept brand name Ilea. Aflibercept is a newer type of anti-VEGF medication for wet AMD. Studies have shown it's at least as effective as ranibizumab in treating people with the condition. Surgery The common surgery for AMD include photodynamic therapy, laser photocoagulation, radiotherapy, stem cell therapy. Newer types of surgery Macular translocation Where the macula is repositioned over a healthier section of the eyeball not affected by abnormal blood vessels. Lens implantation where the lens of the eye is removed and replaced with an artificial lens designed to enhance central vision. FDA approved macular degeneration treatments. Implantable telescope. About the size of a pea, the device is for certain people who experience severe vision loss caused by advanced or end stage macular degeneration. Researchers are still going on this. Macugen. This treatment for AMD uses a therapeutic molecule to attack VEGF in the eye. Macugen is administered through injections into the eye with treatments required every six weeks. It may have some side effects too. A-RED Supplements Two large clinical trials sponsored by the National Eye Institute called the Age-Related Eye Disease Studies evaluated the effect of nutritional supplements on the progression of macular degeneration among people with various stages of AMD. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.